the center of the ring before the bell sounded. Tubin charged with the foul. Stage even on the one is Kez's chest. And now Pat is what is going to be. His best training camp ever. All I can say to that is imagine that. These guys have fought Twitter for and Marquez did let him in and next he didn't kill. Marquez hasn't been able to tag him with anything good. A couple of body shots for Marquez there, but Pacquiao won the round. Trying to make Marquez lead and passing himself in the role of counterpunch. Very balanced out fighter there. I love his speed. He's, he's a deep. Judicious, very selective. Skill level, and he hasn't faced that in a long time. And so successfully in the first fight between the two. Now. Round three gets underway. It passed it in Marquez. And right hand. There's a hard right hook by Pacquiao. Best punch of the fight so far. Marquez feels the need to answer. Now the action begins. Three that both landed ten punches. Pacquiao 10 out of 3, 53. Marquez 10 out of 39. That is the effect of aggression. Now we're seeing the possibly from a Pacquiao left. You can see free flowing action from them. On Manuel Marquez fighting at a weight class far above what he's accustomed to. Trying to keep up with the speed of Pacquiao, who's far more accustomed to this weight. Good left hand by Pacquiao. Marquez lands a right the third. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Beautiful right hand come back by Marquez right here. Good right hand shot. Copy box numbers in the fourth round. Pacquiao 15 out of 47. Marquez 12 out of 43. so far off his right eye is also beginning to swell good round from Juan Manuel Marquez this is the best punch of the fight right here straight right hand right on the chin from Marquez Marquez's chin tested there by Juan Manuel Marquez remember the pattern of the first two fights the Mexican fans are louder more voices than the Filipino fans Pacquiao's been so mesmerizing, judging his quality compared to the guys he's fighting. There's a good right hand by Marquez, towering off the ropes. And there's a hard left by Pacquiao, and a good right hook, and another left. Hard right hand by Marquez, followed by another. Pacquiao with a right hook, Marquez with a left hook. Marquez driving Pacquiao back. and landing 15 of them. Marquez only threw 28. It was his low down. I could certainly see. He's now vigorously discouraged even around. There's a perfect right hand shot by Marquez. Except over the counter punch. Knocks Marquez back. There's a right hand upstairs by Marquez. Right hand is extraordinary. Thing to me is to see how effective Marquez has been landing with those clean, well-placed shots. There was an amazing piece of footwork by Pacquiao, who moved to three or four different places while Marquez was standing still. There's another amazing piece of footwork as he lands a shot and goes by Marquez to a place where but Marquez is taking his time. There's the uppercut. The There's the uppercut. Brilliantly thrown by Marquez. Again, Manny Pacquiao's foot movement after he lands a punch. This is what I was talking about at the end of the last round. He lands a left and a right. Now watch him run away at an angle where Marquez can't possibly throw it down. Is his footwork? Well, yeah. between rounds, that Manny Pacquiao throws a punch for sure, but he takes his defense just like that. Left hand over the top by Manny. Right hand by Marquez. Punch about why judges get influenced by him because he's always moving, jiggling, creating excitement. And throwing the left hand down the middle, which landed to an 11 power shot edge in round number eight. These rounds are close. It's another scoring cut. By Marquez. And another good combination. Hard right hand down the middle by Marquez. Hard left hand in return by Pacquiao. Pacquiao needs to find a way. Pacquiao back to Marquez. Good left hand set by Pacquiao. Tries to come back and capitalize. Marquez wants to answer right away. 
suspense builds as Marquez attacks again. Here comes Becca. Knocks Marquez off balance. Here's Marquez with a counter set. exchanges right here going back and forth it's like who you judge won these the exchanges or win these that's who's going to win the fight because they're going back and forth tip for it looks so strong so fresh and it's nice with bears and footwork that he threw there back he's not there Pacquiao style but never the while there's combustion again between these two guys in the tent Marquez back to Pacquiao off to the right hand Marquez to the body, Pacquiao upstairs. Two punch combination for Pacquiao. A right and a left there. He missed with the left, he landed the right. Now he lands the left. Marquez comes back with the right. the right. The cut came from the headbutt. And you made the point. You wonder if Marquez on the cut. Hard right, Pacquiao as Marquez runs forward. Big left and a right into our interpreter, Jerry o Pacquiao's cut has not been. And so in a way, he has to take what Pacquiao's. Pacquiao tries to answer back with the left. Closing seconds of the round. Probably a mark. We've got three minutes to go. 12th round of a scheduled 12. Harold Letterman, incidentally. 12th round the, here in the final round. In a close fight like this, he's not his way. I mean, he's not on punch. So all he's waiting on him to come in and mess with the straight left. Pacquiao only needs to throw another combination here at the end, probably to seal this round. This was a tremendous tactical error, I think by Juan Manuel Marquez, who finally runs the puck down at the end, but never really let his hands go in that round. Ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand, we go to the scorecards. After 12 World Championship rounds, Robert Hoyle scores the bout 114-114 even. Dave Moretti scores it 115-113. Glenn Trowbridge, 116 to 112, to the winner by majority decision, and still WBO welterweight champion of the world, the fighting bride of the Philippines, Manny Pacquiao.